and other lovely beers as well. It's that time of year. And I'm just going to go to it and start talking to you about, of course, the new season of Arrested Development that just came out on Netflix, the season four, which of course I, like so many other human beings, got Netflix just to see this. And I was not disappointed in the least. In fact, I really liked it. Look. Look. Listen. Look. 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 Are you listening? Now, don't start naysaying because I've already watched this season three times. Yeah, man. I thought you might be. Uh, it's not a cooking show. I'm putting some cashews and also some candy sprinkles that I've had since year one on the frozen bananas. And it's going to taste good. Yeah, so, well, I'll start with the one thing that I didn't like as much about this season, and that's the whole, like, everybody um, gets separate episodes, like this is Michael's Arrested Development, this is uh, George Michael's Arrested Development. I didn't like that as well. I kind of like Michael being, you know, the heart of the show or keeping the family together and um, his reaction to everybody. But other than that, I liked everything. Stupid, forgetful Michael. Yeah, so obviously the first episode, I think we all agree, was like the best, but I really, really liked that they um, didn't give everything away at once, like you had to keep watching, um, and having watched it three times, it's so neat to go back and be like, oh, that's what they were talking about there. It almost made you feel like you were in a roofy circle. But I think it was just as funny, and uh, my friend Paul pointed out that if there's a lot of naysayers, it might just be people who just started to watch Arrested Development, like haven't, you know, I'm hipster. I watched it when it was on TV. Like, I got people into Arrested Development. I did my duty, okay? Um, but I, I don't know. Now, I don't know about a movie. I don't know if that format would work. I'm kind of with maybe on that one. I think you've got a TV show. Uh, but I highly recommend. I was in a uh, pack first, no talking after situation. But don't listen to the naysayers. I think it's, it's really good. Favorite guest appearance, uh, I loved Kristen Wiig as young Lucille. Like, I'm gonna burn some bridges here and say I'm, I wasn't really the biggest Kristen Wiig fan out there, but she is the perfect young Lucille. Like, I'm on board now, Kristen Wiig, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. And I think some people just got in there because they were fans of the show, like John Krasinski. Um, being at the, the movie studio and uh, just being in there for a little second and I thought, oh, you were in there because you like this show too and that makes me happy. So if this was your first Nerd Girls for the Win Frozen Banana uh, year, feel free to go back and uh, watch the other ones and see what you think and uh, Jilly and have a lovely viewers as well. I will talk to you later. Bye. Okay, I'm Food Network. Rich Ray always does like the nice, cute bite at the end. Like, I think that's Food Network thing. Hold on. Let's see how graceful this is going to be. Okay. Mmm. It's so dainty.